Hey everyone, hopefully you're all doing well out there today. And uh, what we're showing is the GIS Bigfoot Answers Encounters map. So this is the Patreon members map. And you can see that the map is uh, being populated with some encounters from our members. So I thank you for that. So I just want to show um, a couple of, or let's just show one today, just one encounter. And it's in Fresno County, California. It's at Avocado Lake. And there's the Sierra, Sierra Nevada mountains, the bottom of these mountains, um, close to Fresno, California. Yeah, so you just zoom in on the map. It actually, yeah, let's have a look at some of these tools on the map. So we've got the uh, zoom in and zoom out. You've got the home button. We'll take you back to the original start. And uh, you've got a GPS. If you were using this on a phone, you could uh, click on my location. It would show you a GPS. You've got back and forth. You can type in an address or a place, and uh, that will do the geolocation for you. Uh, we've got measure tools, so you get access to this map when you join the, the Patreon channel. Uh, we've got base maps that you can switch back and forth, so you can go between uh, satellite imagery and other base maps, like the topographic base map, the gray canvas, light gray canvas map. We've got streets at night. The topographic is what we were using previously, but because it's got the terrain and it's got uh, water courses, uh, lakes and uh, roads on. So quite uh, useful for uh, looking at some of these Sasquatch encounters that have been reported. So we're looking at Avocado Lake, yeah. So I'm gonna click on this and what you get is the date of the encounter, uh, the, no, the closest location and uh, the encounter type and a bit of description, but you can also upload uh, photographs and any audio. Let's say you got a wood knock or maybe you got a Bigfoot howl, you can upload that too, and that would be available to the other members of the Patreon channel. A farmer witnesses five to six Bigfoots on his farm in the middle of the night, one with a pig over its shoulder. It tripped over an irrigation pipe. The pig flew over too. Other families in this area have witnessed Bigfoot over the years. Oh, pretty cool. So that's great. Thanks for that, that submission. And again, obviously there's no name associated with that. When you do submit, we do ask for a name and an email, but those are not populated in, the, in this map. Yeah, let's have a look at this Avocado Lake. I've searched on this, the name of this in California, and we're going to look at the Google Street View. First of all, let's have a look at the satellite imagery. So farms, this was a farmer that saw these five to six Bigfoots, and one, one was helping himself to a pig and making a run for it. So maybe they were going to have a big dinner, the five to six Sas Sasquatches. So yeah, so it looks like some farms down here, maybe some... Some kind of like fruit farming, maybe, I would say. But I would guess that these are some kind of fruit. So it looks like there's a park, Avo Avocado Lake Park. Let's click on that. See what photos we've got. There's 253 photos. Let's have a look at this. So it looks like a small pond, really, with, with there's hills in the background. There's the river. It looks like a river flowing in and out and some hills around it beautiful wow really really nice uh, looks like a, a good spot for fishing and probably kayaking and canoeing swimming there's a good view wow looks really nice So there's a very nice park. So let's just close out of that and we'll go to the Google Street View, see what we can see. So this, I'm assuming that the uh, siding was down here on the, on these, uh, along these farmlands, anywhere around this lake. There you see the highway passing through this farmlands. Over on the east side, and then there's the park and the lake over to the west. It looks like to the north there's some hills. Yeah, and there's the river 
like a river or the pond right there. And maybe the start of these uh, mountains. There you have it. I mean, it, it could be easily accessed by Bigfoot, you know, helping himself to the, the pigs and the some of the farmer's crops, so maybe some, maybe some fruit, heading off into the hills to have a, a supper. So there you go. There's a great encounter. And uh, yeah, please subscribe to the channel and please join our Patreon channel and submit your encounters. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Happy Easter to you all out there today. Today, what we'll be looking at is an encounter in California, and it's based on a video, a YouTube video that somebody mapped out the location. This occurs in the Marble Mountains, and it's pretty close to the Patterson Gimlin film. Let's just measure how far apart they are. The location of the video and the story is there, near Greenview, California, and the Patterson Gimlin film close to Orleans, California. So that was in 1967. If anybody doesn't know about that movie you can, or that film, you can look that up. But if you're here, you've heard about it. 30 miles, 33 miles apart. So one of the most famous Bigfoot films is uh, 33 miles away. And that was in 1967. The one we're looking at today occurred in 2001. A group of youths, led by an adult, out hiking, find a Bigfoot nest. The nest is made of evergreen brush and limbs that have been snapped, not cut. Trees around the nest appear to have been scratched. The group then sees a figure on the mountain ridge above them. They video the figure for several minutes as it paces back and forth angrily and appears to shake his fist at them. The figure appears to have long arms hanging almost to its knees actually almost below the knees if you watch the video. And there is a link to the video. Just have a look at this the map, see how we're doing. The map is growing in sightings. So over 30 sightings. California's got four. Ontario's still at six. Utah's got three. They're well spread out across the uh, U.S. and Canada. But uh, let's keep these maps going and let's, let's keep these encounters going and uh, and you can either join on the Patreon channel or you can have a membership, a YouTube membership, and you'll have access to the application to enter in your encounter information, which will then be projected on this map. So let's zoom in and have a look. So it's the Marble Mountains. Have a look at the satellite imagery. So wooded, forested areas with bare earth, some rocky, rocky areas. So there is coverage for a Bigfoot to hide, but then when the Bigfoot comes out of wooded areas, they would be exposed. And that's what happens in this video, assuming it's a, big, a Bigfoot. The nest that the kids found, I'm sure it looks like a, a nest that Bigfoot would live in. If Bigfoot does exist, it would be something that you can see a Bigfoot living in. And of course, there's water, which is required for all life. Lots of little lakes scattered throughout these mountains in the basins. You see the tr various trails and see the water adjacent to these trails. Let's have a look at this video just for a brief moment. So you can get a feel of what I'm talking about. Yeah. No, it stopped and looking at us. It's kind of looking at us. I don't see it. Moving now. It's to the right of him. It's walking that way. Okay. See that king's castle? Yeah. He's that kind of little skinny thing. That little thing. Yeah. On the right now. Yeah, he's walking down. I mean, that could easily be a person. Where? Dang it! Two trees to the left of King's Castle. See how long the arms are. See King's Castle? Yeah. He's, this, shake, this he's part shaking of his fist at us. He's right in between the two trees right now. He's screaming at us something. Get out of my camp! Get out of my camp! 
He's probably saying, hey, there's 15 Bigfoots down there. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but anyway, down? the arms look quite long there. So let's have a look at the Marble Mountains, see if there's any Google Street View. I don't think there's any streets there, but let's have a look, see what we can find. And as you can see, Portland to the north looks like halfway between Portland and San Francisco. And Greenview, California seems to be the closest town. Let's see what we find. No street view, but there might be a photograph. Oh, yeah, this is a good reflection of. Looks like the, as I described, forested areas with rocky outcrops and bare earth. Enough forest to provide habitat and protection for a Bigfoot. Well, now you see uh, some water, which would provide drinking water for life. Okay, let's see if there's any other photographs. There's another one. And it looks like some, some trees that might have been in a forest fire or they've died off anyway. And another, you can see these, these uh, ponds that are located amongst the mountains. There'll be uh, fresh water, um, cool, cold, fresh water ponds. Beautiful. And this is kind of like where in the video you see the Bigfoot walking on the mountain ridge. Let's see if there's any more photos. I believe there was. Oh, wow, look at that. How clear the water is again. Uh, that's just beautiful. Very nice. So you can see why people do visit this area. You've got a rock outcrop and a beautiful lake surrounded by forested areas and mountains. You know, if you're interested in joining our channel and being a supporter, you can do that through Patreon or you can be uh, a member. And that's just on uh, through memberships in YouTube, and that is being approved right now. So I'm just waiting for that. So thanks for all your support, everybody. And uh, let me know what you think about this uh, sighting. Hey, everyone. Welcome to another episode of GIS Bigfoot Answers. Today, we will be looking at, at a sighting in California, and it's from way back 1964 it's in a newspaper article in santa cruz uh the santa cruz newspaper what it is a guy was uh, woken up at 4 a.m at his house and he went out and looked out the back window he was, the windows were rattling and looked out and he saw a bigfoot throwing trees into the river behind the house the cops were called uh, but no they didn't find any any evidence of any uh, Sasquatch or Bigfoot. So we're just going to have a quick look at this area. It's probably changed a lot since 19, since 1964, but uh, let's have a look. It's in uh, Glen Arbor Road is the name of the uh, road, but uh, the name of the town is, or the city is Ben Lomond. It's the San Lorenzo River, basically the, the intersection of Glen Arbor Road and San Lorenzo River. So let's have a look at this intersection. So it looks like quite a residential area, but as you can see, there's like huge, massive trees. There's the river in there. Obviously, this is a bridge, so we can't really see too much there. Let's see if there's another. Uh, intersection of the two. Let's have a look at the satellite imagery. Yeah, you can see, wow, look at, I mean, look at this, this, you can see the river coming through here. There's the Glen Arbor Road. Perhaps some of these subdivisions weren't built at the time. Maybe they just had, you know, some of these houses on the Glen Arbor Road backed onto the creek. But look how wooded it is, even though it's a residential neighborhood it's it's a you know it's a town but look at look at the uh the forest it's really amazing really awesome uh, california is so beautiful so let's have a look here 
this intersection of uh, looks like the Glen Arbor Road. Maybe we can see this. It's a small bridge, really. I mean, you can you can see how this yeah the watercourse the this San Lorenzo River. It's really a, a, a small stream. Backs you know it, it winds between the residential. houses and just little small bridges between but hey if i'm a bigfoot i'll be uh traveling along that water course and that's uh, something they're famous for that's where a lot of the sightings are along close to water courses um, so yeah i mean totally possible that uh, this happened and as i said i mean you go into this small t it looks like a town but look at the there's some hills there that are really really Got some dense forest, and even within the town, there's uh, some bigger trees. Very, very awesome, really beautiful place by the look of it. So that's where there was a sighting in 1964. Thanks for watching, everybody.